Hey, hey, it's DJ, and today I'd like to show you how to get real GPU memory temperatures completely within HiveOS. Now, if you've been following the news recently, you've probably heard of MMPOS and how they've managed to somehow add support for GPU memory temperature on GDDR6X GPUs. And of course, this has been a big want in the HiveOS community for a very long time, and today I finally found a workaround which will actually allow us to replicate that directly in HiveOS. So a quick rundown of what we're actually doing here. We are simply taking the CLI tool, which is a tool within MMPOS, which actually reads the data from the NVIDIA sensors on your GDDR6X GPUs, and we're putting it directly inside of HiveOS and running it there. So there's no suspicious downloads or anything. We are using a tool built into MMPOS and putting it straight into HiveOS. But then again, I must tell you, do this completely at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any rig explosions or fires or, I don't know, cataclysmic events that may occur from you typing in four commands into the hive shell. So without further ado, how about we get started? So first, start off by choosing a rig, any rig, and you see that I've chosen this A Shortfall of Gravitas rig with three 1660 Supers and one 3070 Ti for demonstration purposes, and we are going to go to Remote Access, Hive Shell Start. One hour later. Once HiveOS finally gets its crap together, we can open up Hive Shell, and we're going to start by pasting one command which will download the file necessary to actually read the GPU memory temps. You can find this down in the description, just paste it right in, press enter. It will proceed to download the file, and once it's downloaded, we are going to run the second command, which will provide CLI tool with a config file to read from. Now, basically what we're doing here by doing this, enter, is we are tricking the CLI tool file we just downloaded and to believing that it's actually reading from an MMPOS mining rig. Of course, in order to use CLI tool, we do need to compile the raw data into an executable file, which within Linux can be done with the next line, chmod plus x for executable, CLI tool, you press enter. And finally, we will at last run the tool with the simple easy command dot slash CLI tool. If you've done everything correctly, you should see this detecting GPU screen. Give it a moment and you'll see that all of the GPUs within your mining rig pop up, as you can see. And look at that, on this 3070 Ti, we have not only the core temp, the junction temperature, but we also have the memory temperature. Look at that. I am in HiveOS still. Although it does say MMPOS, yes, we are inside of HiveOS. This is the HiveOS rig, as you can see, the three 1660 Supers and the TI. It has this little core temperature here, 54, 55, that's pretty close. I'd say that's within a margin of error. But this memory temperature, as far as I can tell, this is basically exactly what it is. That's pretty cool. I mean, look at that. We are seeing memory temperatures on GDDR6X GPUs inside of HiveOS. And just to show you that this is all real, we're going to apply a flight sheet here, dual mining Ethereum ton, my favorite. And we're going to let it start mining. Let's go back to the shell here. To exit this screen, we're just going to press Control C. And you see we're brought back to the MOTD screen here. Just to make things a little easier, I'm going to go back to right here to help me make it look a bit nicer. And then we're going to go Miner, now that we're actually running something. You can see that lull miners starting up here. We're going to give it a moment to actually start mining, but after it has mined for a bit, we're going to go back and we're going to check the memory temperature on the 3070 Ti to see if it's changed. So I don't know if you can hear it, but yes, we are now mining. I apologize for the fan noises, but just to verify that the memory temperature is indeed real, we're going to quit out of the miner here with control AD. We're going to run the CLI tool command again with the dot slash CLI tool. Give it a moment here to start and detect the GPUs. And there we have it. Actual memory temperatures. Look at that. Memtemp 92C. I could tell it's probably getting a bit toasty because, well, it's getting louder. Now, you can probably think of some drawbacks here. Number one, it only works with GDDR6X as of right now. As you did see on those supers, we weren't getting any actual memory temperatures because those are only GDDR6. However, I can hope that in the future, maybe even the near future with those hackers who leaked a bunch of NVIDIA source code, maybe we'll get some more in-depth readings on, who knows, even 10 series, 20 series GPUs soon. But for now, 
you're gonna have to stick to the GDDR6X devices. I think that's gonna be the 3070 Ti, 3080 Ti, 3090, 3080. But I mean, the workaround here is not too difficult, so I'm pretty content with it. Anyway, that's all I got today. Appreciate your time and have a wonderful rest of your night or morning, wherever you are.